Hey there everybody and welcome back to Season 12 North Carolina for SnowRunner where last time we fully explored, well not fully explored but you know you get the picture, we revealed the map, we got to the little island and we got the bridge down using a generator and lots of fuel. So this time it's, uh, it's road blockage and bridge building clearance things. So we're going to start off with Rubble Trouble 1 then head up to Rubble Trouble 2 and to get this out of the way, we're going to do running on empty, and then something else I've prepared for with the down. I've got a generator. I can't quite remember, but it's... Oh, it's bridging the gap. We're going to build this bridge here. So, without further ado, we are in the bottom left corner at Metalworks, where if you go to the Metalworks warehouse, there are two metal beams waiting for you. It's like they knew you were going to need them. And uh, every cargo area so far seems to have a generator area. And it's quite the journey from the trailer store here back away around the map. So we're going to try and get around that as much as possible by working towards getting this bit built up. Because that way we can do a loop. We can get to the trailer store, go to the, uh, the quayside, and jump across and you know take a generator wherever we need it so we are back in the bike not the step the step was used for something else uh briefly i think just for grabbing the name of the mission so yes so we've got our trailer again this is the the same setup as the previous episode and yeah we've got our two metal beams so each rubble trouble requires uh, one one metal beam which is handy dandy it's much better than those darned other bridges that need three medium planks uh, what's that about three medium planks six cargo for a wooden bridge and one of them we're never going to use because it's on a road that's a loop it doesn't go anywhere oh that's gonna hurt it's funny, so that sign there behind the trailer, it says use low gear. And on the way up, I did not use low gear. I was in high. I'm just going to free roll this. There's a lot of broken road. It's not a bad path. It's, I mean, it's really not a bad path at all. Right, so we're dipping here. And then it's going to be back onto some normal road for a little bit. Before we go more off-road and we clear the roadblock that we climbed over in, uh, in the previous episode. That was interesting. Years and years ago, I wouldn't have done that. I thought, oh no, there's, there's no way you can get over that. No, not at all. Eh, no, there's something to winch on the other side. Might as well. Right, I'm just going to nip in here, do a rolling. And oh, they couldn't even manage that in Formula 1. More because, you know, the, there's no physical connection for the refueling. So it's not really an issue. Come on, get around the corner. God, I'll tell you what. This truck is a great example of... Um, it, it's more effective to steer uh, when you're going slower. Because the, the steering... I mean, the steering radius, the turning radius for this truck is already pretty bad. Um, even when you're in auto or law, but holy cow, if you're in high gear and you're trying to steer it saying you need to make a corner. Although that was alright, but if I mean, more not in high gear, um, if you're doing actual oh, oh, no, 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 high speeds, um, yeah, you're just gonna, you're just gonna understeer so hard. Right, um, can I actually just go this way? Yes, I can. Come on, front wheels. Do as, do as proud. Drag as wide. Oh my god, look at the mud. Look at it everywhere. Whoa! I heard the damage sound, but no damage was incurred. So we are going to do a rubble trouble one, and then we'll double back at the mountain to get number two. Because uh, then we'll be facing the right way just to 
generally head back towards the garage. Ooh, is this an alternative? I guess it looks like an alternative route through the same area. Oh, it's it's got more rocks on it though. Won't be fooled by the rocks that I've got. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, maybe I should take this strip back to the garage and put a snorkel on it. Just just in case. Or maybe I should just continue to live on the edge. Right, delivery box. Just up ahead. There are those blips in again about the danger. I bet it doesn't get rid of all of them. I bet there are still some there just to be a pain in the backside. See, there's still quite a lot of boulders there. Yeah, I can drive through, but... I can't drive through at full auto, can I? Right, uh, we don't want private order. What we're going to do is look out for the next right-hand turn. Which will take us uh, up the mountain. We'll do a bit of... It's going to be quite narrow, but I think we'll be okay. I don't know why you would um, not, not do it this way, I suppose. Just do one after the other. But I, I guess if you're not confident. Oh, here's the turn. It's quite a sharp one. And there's a bit of... Of course there's a wet puddle at the bottom. As, a, as opposed to a dry puddle. Duh. Alright, up we go. And I believe... When we get to a T-junction, it should be a right turn. We've got to be careful here. It's a big dip. One of these boulders moves. The other, that one doesn't. There's cheeky, cheeky engine damage. I've already caused so much engine damage in this series, and this is episode two. So much so that I've had two vehicles to actually get to the point where they consume more fuel and take gearbox damage as a result of the engine damage. I don't know which way it is now. Ah, now it's left. Oh, this is, um, I had to, I used the loaf's winch as a lifeline so I didn't fall off the cliff. And now I'm taking an articulated truck up there. Yeah, this is a great idea. Yep, there it is, cliffside road. I'm wondering when, uh, because it's a format, a format uh, region, I'm wondering when I go and get the FEM. Because I mean, I really want to. I really want to use it. It's a four slot carrier. It saves me having to use this quite so much. Oh, yeah. Has to be active. Come on, you've played this game before. Two and a half thousand. Oh, well, less than two and a half thousand for that. I'm in a a particularly awkward location. I'll have you know. So, what did they actually use the metal beams for there? Because nothing's changed, not really. All right, let's get this up the hill, and we'll get parked, and then we'll get on to what's going to be phase two. This is it, running on empty. The next task. So we have to take the CAT CT680 and the four cement to the unloading area. Now, annoyingly, the CAT isn't hooked up to its trailer and you can't get into the CAT. And I believe it doesn't have any fuel either. So we've pulled out a big truck. Yep, out of fuel. So we're going to see how this goes. It's been, oh wow, I've not driven this truck properly since ETS live stream of Maine, which was, what, season six? Or something like that. It was a long time ago. It's, I've, I'm only just noticing, I don't know if it's because of the jack of all treads um, tire set 
but the front wheels are actually wider than the drive wheels at the back. Oh, this is quite funny. Uh, you can see there, along the line, the front wheels are wider. This thing, I swear half of the assets are literally just scaled up. Like that, that air filter intake is genuinely like an oil drum with a cap and an enormous pipe coming out, coming out of it. Everything is huge, uh, which kind of, whoopsie, gives it this low res texture vibe, like, I don't know, like the exhaust is huge, the air intake is huge. Right, there we go. But it does have quite a low overhang at the front. Given that it's one of the highest high saddle uh, trucks in the game, the front hangs really low. All right, let's see what we can do. Nope, not quite ready for that. It's pretty fast though with this uh, high range gearbox, but obviously, given considering like the engine's not even running. It's doing really well at just lugging the cat along. Although this is going to be nice and slow. Let's, let's have a look inside. Oh, there's the handbrake. Kind of just off to one side. It's a bit weird. Oh my god, a, CO, a CO2 extinguisher. Oh, that's so dangerous. You, Oh, there's a fire in the cab. I'll use this fire extinguisher. Oh, I died. Well, yeah, because you used a CO2 extinguisher. You'd have to open the door before using it. You would want a foam or powder. Powder, at least you'd still want to open the door. Uh, powder extinguishers are hella messy. What is... what? That can't be accurate to the real thing. CO2 extinguisher. Jeez. You would want that on the outside of the truck in a, um, in a storage bin, you know, like a plastic box, not in the cab. You'd be driving along and just gas yourself, like this one on the back of the cab, that's just unmarked. That's where it should be. Yeah. Also, how the hell do you reach that? It's so high up. Okay, you can stand on the fuel tank, but you're, you know. I mean, because he's in a seated position. I mean, moaning. Moaning about fire extinguishers or dragging uh, his vehicle. It's getting, it's getting the job done, though. But there's also a method to my madness. In that the mission, bridging the gap, requires... Oh, dear requires the movement of that cat trailer. Although, what I didn't check when I eventually found the mission in the list and accepted it, was the saddle requirement. So I might look quite stupid in a little bit. And there'll be people that have already done it getting to this bit and thinking, yeah, he's been quite stupid for doing that. He's picked the wrong truck. What an absolute plump. Come on. I oh, steer pretty well. It's getting through here better than the Dan did in my uh, in my prep time. And the Dan wasn't even towing another vehicle. It was just trying to get itself through the mud. I think here is where it actually got stuck. Alrighty, that bit was slow. Um, although this next bit, I doubt, is going to be much faster. Oh, come on. This is, this is definitely the preferred terrain of uh, an eight-wheel drive truck, for sure. Although I would be getting through here much more easily if I wasn't towing, you know, an eight-ton truck without its engine running. I've got to get that stupid trailer through yet, as well. 
that's where this might have to dip out <laughs> to uh, to rescue the truck that uh, I've intended to use for that. But it is a bit annoying that you can't hitch the cat up to the trailer that it definitely would have been attached to and just lug the whole lot. And it's on one of those daft trailers as well. Oh, come on. All right, yeah, um, that was really boring, that last bit. It was just a low gear crawl that uh, I didn't really want to subject you all to. I did also double check, that is a low saddle trailer. So, um, yeah, uh, oh well. I mean, there are other high saddle missions, so let's get, let's get this into that box. Oh, now it wants to steer. All right, make it disappear. There we go. I found a truck which can uh, actually attach to the trailer. Um, because it's really not a trailer that I use ever, apart from if it already exists in the map, of course, it's like this. I don't know what trucks it can attach to, apart from this one. Because this is what I used in my very first go through of Michigan to move the drill. Uh, so here we are in the OG King of SnowRunner. He has of 64131. Eight wheel drive, always on diff lock and all wheel drive. One of the best fuel economies in the game by far. People complain it's not very fast. SnowRunner is not a racing game. This is, um, this is a fine speed. This means you don't have to use high gear. And uh, I'm doing 30, five of whatever the unit of speed is on that speedo. It's just, it's, it is just one of the best. As voted for by the community actually, through the, I believe through the Discord. Look at that. Barely even, barely, barely even flinched. Ooh, ooh, we glanced up, up to, to 10 liters a minute there. <laughs> I'm joking, to be, I mean, to be honest, it, it is definitely, it's... When I first started playing and I found out you could get this at level 2, you know, that's where that video came from. Um, yeah. It's, it was my um, get out of jail free card at the time. You know, I kept using things like the Fleet Star and exploring other trucks. And I was like, ooh, something something I'm finding tricky. Get the Azov. Because it, it just worked. And I'm quite excited that there's a new one coming. It's, I'm hoping it's going to be something along the lines of, of this. It's another cab over. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a three slot bed. A unique... Um, a unique van body add-on, because apparently that's needed. But uh, oh, the only the only downside with this truck originally was that its mud tire option option is garbage. But now we've got the jack of all treads, which give it a wider tire, better suited for mud. You know, you get the six options. Oh, the trailer is dragging in the mud. It's going to be like this the way. So you get six options for the mud tires for the truck. From one to six. Um, decreasing dirt capability with increasing mud capability. So you can really fine tune to what you actually need. Plus, this truck runs the advanced special gearbox, so you've got three low gears, so you can do what I did. Swap down from uh, low plus into regular low. We're not kicking up any spray, which means we're making good pace. Yeah, we're doing 10 liters a minute, but... I mean, the board was doing 24. <laughs> which is considerably more. It is it's genuinely... Um, one of the most powerful trucks in the in the in the early game by far especially when it comes to heavy hauling those either like the coil tubing trailer the 
a fuel trailer that you only ever see like once or the like the oil tank the oil tank trailer the big eight slot or any of the eight slots this thing yeah you might scrape the feet now and again but this thing will pull it this eight wheel drive fury And also because of the requirement for the cat mission, that's also why. Because I did this, the following mission in in the test server using the upgraded Kenworth W990, and it was so painful. The trailer was just getting me stuck at all times. And then you know you just wheel spin, and it was just it was like an hour of winching just to get to the main back to the main road bit or it might not have been an hour but it sure felt like it here we are again just trundling through we're getting it done so yeah we'll use this to shift the cat 770 uh, i think they said the new azov is coming sometime in the spring so expect a is it worth it you know review video because it will be a standalone uh, release i think it is just a one truck as well Sabre seem to have gone from multiple trucks in a pack to, well, some of them have been one before, but others have been three, obviously for slightly more money. Um, I think two is a happy medium. Then you kind of feel like you're getting a bit more for your money. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can see we're, we're getting through this, this bog fairly well. It's just, I just really enjoy using this truck a lot. And it doesn't even have like that high ground clearance, so, but it still just gets the job done. This is so powerful. Top engine and the advanced special gearbox from uh, Hedro Bay. You could, you could do the entire game of this thing. Maybe not scouting because its turning radius isn't amazing, but you know, it's eight wheel drive truck. It's not supposed to have a tight turning circle. <laughs> Although you can't run a um, flatbed crane trailer combo because the, the overhang is, is too much. Not, not that you really would. You don't need to always use a crane. You can use a regular flatbed with a trailer just without the crane. So, I mean, I don't know what is it, the engine supposed to be in this rear section. It's, it's hard to tell. There's some kind of generator with a spare wheel, but typically, yeah, you can see the engine is is there in the front of the truck, below the cab, as as it is in a cab over. Oh no, you appear to have stopped. That was uh, still forward. God, the majority of this truck is, uh, uh, sorry, this trailer is, uh, in the, in the drink. So we're gonna have to winch a little bit. There's just too much resistance. Are we moving again? Not quite. We just needed a little bit of, uh, gentle persuasion. Just to get out of the rough there. That this transition where I am now between you know the mud and the rod is actually quite fierce. It it took a good second for the boar's tires to actually get out of the mud and onto the road. Because it's never a smooth trans transition, it's always um, like a ramp for whatever reason. But we will not be keeping this trailer. We like to keep our trailer beds and bodies high off the ground, as high as we can. None of this low riding nonsense. Yeah, I mean, you can see the turning circle's not great. Hey, but you know, we didn't need the boar for a rescue. And look at that, we only, look like we barely use what? Uh, 72 liters. Wonderful. Right, let's, uh, let's get rid of this. 
Okay, here we are with the cat. Let's enable the mission. The mission is bridging the gap. How long have I been going? Oh, is that it? The mission is bridging the gap. It requires the delivery of the disassembled Cat 770G to be delivered to the island bridge, as well as three metal beams and four cement. Saddle low is required because it's this stupid trailer. Also, it's kind of parked in a crap place. Wait, yeah, it's going to take me... Uh, See, you know, the, that previous trailer had two axles, so kind of minimal, minimal rolling resistance in any regard. This has four axles and they're all diddy wheels. Yeah! He says, hey, if you couldn't tell, that was through gritted teeth. <laughs> is this the worst trailer in the game? I think it is. There's not much that gets worse than this. You know, I, I want to use it, but it's just awful. Alright, here we go. Into the drink. I'll take it easy. Low plus to start. Oh my god, it's already slow. I mean, especially... Oh, I mean, so yeah, you've got your four axles. All equally resistant to movement in the mud but then what you've also got because it's a low loader is uh, the rear of the trailer which also just acts as a, an anchor on top of that you've got the guardrails uh, the only thing that'll never get you stuck are the little feet is this uh Come on. Am I already... My god. My god. At least it's got winch points, unlike its counterpart. This thing is just truly hateful. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of bashing on this trailer. Look. Oh, great. Hang on while I just dig down. <sighs> Winch from the back. Push yourself forward. And God forbid, do, just whatever you do, do not drive over a fallen tree. Because it will get stuck under the trailer and you will want to uninstall the game. Oh yes. Uh, oh. So because it rides so low, you can't drag it over hills. Right, there we go. It is truly hell spawn. Great for a road. You know, the glades, wherever most of uh, Scandinavia and BC, it'd be fine. Lots of roads. Here, no, 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 N no. No, I mean, how am I even going to get across to there? If um, if you manage to do this with minimal winching, please, in the comments, let people know what you use so you, you can save somebody a painful day. You know, you, you could save somebody from having a rage-filled day. Come on, Azov. Come on. You climb that hill. You push down that broken tree. I'm going to end up beaching on this. I know it. But I also need to be close to these trees. Because of the inevitable. Yeah, there you go. The metal bits. Instead of... So your wheels would happily just cut into the ground, tip you over, with the me the thin metal beams on this trailer cut into the ground. No, why would they do that? So the there's nothing at all. 
to get the... It's just, honestly, it's, it's the worst thing. Come on. There we go. There we go. There you go. Look, see? The whole truck. I mean, that's not how the truck would act. Those metal bits underneath would have given way. They are the worst. Oh no. I've used another incline. I should really avoid all the inclines I can. Even if they're, you know, less than half a meter. Because this thing will just... Beach. Oh, that incline's going to be too big. You might not even have seen it happen. Yep, look, look, see? You know, it's, it's not it's not the Azov being rubbish, it's the trailer. Ugh, why couldn't they have put it on a different trailer? Even on the the two axle, the twin axle one that I just had, put it on that. Not this stupid thing. Because it's not like they drove the truck. It's not like they drove the cat onto the trailer because it's bloody wheels are not on. So it's clearly been craned on. Or they've driven under it. They've jacked it up and driven under it. But hence why the trailer has no ramps. Oh, you see, there's another slight mound that uh, I'm going to get stuck on. I remember back in the, uh, what was it, season seven, the racing one, where for some reason I had this, it's probably because I was doing it co-op with, uh, with, with Joe and Luke way back when, where one of the early missions I decided to take a Voron Grab, like yeah, I'll use a Voron Grab, that's, that's a fun thing to use, and I'll use Triaxle Low Loader Trailer for, I think it was to actually put a truck on it and haul it somewhere. And it was just such a faff just to even get it remotely, well, like halfway across the map. Like three trucks trying to maneuver this one trail around the corner. Cause it just kept getting stuck on everything. Come on! Why? Why am I rotating there? That's not a good sign. Eve. Hey, oh god. That's the ticket. Oh yeah, I'm just going to leave it and uh, obviously yeah, we're using a lot more fuel now because you know, it's the unstoppable force meets the literally immovable object. Oh, look at that, we had a lurch of speed and power. We're actually able to, to go it alone, briefly. Oh no, the trailer's caught on something again. I mean, honestly... If if you do if you'd not seen this truck perform before, and then I'd not done the tandem axle trailer prior to this, you thought, God, this truck is rubbish. But you did see me go the other way with that with the other trailer with cargo. So that's that's how you know it's not a fault of the truck. You know, my belief is trailers are the meta for moving cargo. Just don't, just not this one. Just not this one. Come on, get a grip. This is where maybe, maybe having the Jat 3, you know, more suited to dirt, 
given that I'm not really benefiting from the, the mud aspect because I can't drive through the mud because of the low clearance. Oh, another third gear. Right, I'm going to high gear it just to get as far as I can. Without uh, stop starting. You see this? Um, yeah, watch this. And I'm stuck. I, you know, couldn't have seen, could not have seen that coming. And you're probably thinking, when is the moaning going to start? Um, probably now when I cut ahead. Oh, there we go. The bog-filled aspect of the adventure is, is just about over. Oh, turn. Oh, this was going to be not great. A lot of rocks and uh, changing ground conditions. Honestly, this thing would be better just to have skids. Like, those wheels are doing nothing. Oh, guess what happened? <laughs> I'm not bitter. I'm not mad. Obvi honestly. I you said obviously. It's obviously a lie. Those wheels are doing nothing at the back. Right, try and aim for this dry patch with some sweet, sweet traction. That's the ticket. And then it's uh, a bit of road going. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh this is going to be awkward. Come on. Come on. Come on. Also, are those... The sets of tires have two straps and two ropes. Uh, and, um, I'm sorry, but that there, that is not a load-bearing point. If you put pressure on that from the other side, you're going to rip that off. Any jerking motion, any lateral movement, that is coming off. Just saying. Just saying. These are mountain points. Yes, this is not a... This is a, a pivot point for the limit ramps. Just... just who... Uh, what? You can't do this. You can't secure a, a, a safety... Like, under something else? With a... Have a bend in it? Oh, my days. The transport authorities would have a field day with this thing. Genuinely, it's, it's bad. It is B-A-D. Because those pins, they won't be rated for anchoring a load. Because they're for a ramp. That's not what they're designed for. Oh, so why would you put your ratchet strap to go, like, a, around the axle? Just move it back, like, a few inches. So I should stop picking apart how uh, they've load, how they've fastened this thing down. Part of, part of my job involves a lot of checking of things like sea fastenings and, and lifting, so I have to look at quite a lot of this stuff. Also grew up with it because this what what I'm doing now, apart from the off-roading bit, this is what my dad does. He drives big trucks and he moves bigger loads that are way heavier than this thing. Yeah, another issue with this trailer in this game is um, at, at the back there. Obviously, you've got the ramp down. It's the vertical section, which essentially just acts like a big mud scraper. Which, and, you know, if you've used trailers a lot, you you know, you'll have caught a rear bull bar on, on a fallen tree before and have it just immediately stop you dead. And you have to actually reverse in order to get free, or, you know, do a full, like, sideways winch to get free of it. Ugh. 
Right, so... After this, I've got a shimmy, um, a generator to the metalworks. I think what I'll probably do is, you know, have a generator for one side of the map, maybe and one for the other if required, or just move it between the three locations or for however many it is, rather than having three generators. That's a lot of back and forward traveling through the darn swamp. You know, just just move the. Oh my god, I was about to lose my, my speed then. There you go. There we go. Caught on the road. Slow me down. Wait, oh yeah, these these securing lines. No no no. The the ratchet straps are Wait, hang on, where does the Wait, where where does this one go? It just goes straight under. Maybe it's just strapping the tires together. And if you're wondering why there are six, it's because the, the rear wheels are they're twin wheels. So, you know, two of them would go together. Maybe that's what one of the straps is. It's very odd. Also, the little bit of wood at the side, that's not, that's not doing anything. Um, oh, to go through a bit of a, oh, another bog. Hmm. I think we, we should have the fuel to get there. Oh, on the rear set, one of the tires is just shaking itself loose. It's, uh, it's displaced from the others. See? Shoddy, shoddy fastening is what that is. Shoddy fastening. Hi, th this is going to backfire. I need the wide line, so I'm going to go around that. Is that going to get stuck under the trailer? Kind of. Oh, thank God it despawned. Right, I'm going to need another wide line. And low gear. Oh, these big rocks. It, I mean, it's fine for the Azov. Not for the trailer. Thank God they left this big tree here when I cleared the roadblock. Right, over we go. Come on, you trooper. Oh no. No, oh, no, get off that, get off that. Get. Is it too late? Oh, I'm just pulling down random trees now. Come on, we've got this. Honestly, this thing makes a better plow than the plow that they added in the farming season. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, there's a mound. Quick, get over to the right hand side. Oh, too late. Oh no, we managed to, to get out of it. Arrgh! I'm getting concerned about the fuel now because, as you can see, I've got 25 litres left. So I'm going to be running for another two minutes. And. I'm not even going to be past that bush in, in two minutes time. I think for the first time ever I'm going to need to refuel this truck. Because <laughs> this has been my speed for the last 15 minutes. Since that um, gap in the rocks, the old uh, the rock rubble, whatever it's called, number one. It's been, yeah, but 10. 15 minutes, it feels like an eternity. I'm still moving this thing. And now the truck is doing the I'm low on fuel lurch. I'm actually going to need to refuel an Azov 6. And it's not even driven that far. We're refilled. Oh, 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 wait, what? We can't move? What? That, I'm shocked. 
absolutely shocked. How, f wait, how far is it? It's the end inside. Oh, the road is over there. Salvation is at hand. The sacred icon has been found, and with it, our path is clear. Entry into the divine beyond guaranteed. The great journey. Is oh, wait, no, that's all Halo, isn't it? Oops. Come on! I'd say the great journey is nigh, but I can't get out of the bloody mud with this trailer. This truck could stop the flood, but it can't get this through this con these conditions. I bet that wasn't a crossover we were expecting today. Come on! Now what are you stuck on? There's some dust behind the trailer. Oh, right, I've got to I've got to be very careful not to catch the trailer on that fallen tree. I think we're just going to avoid it. Bring it around now. Yes, you see, I there was contact. You saw it. There was contact. The truck jiggled. Oh no, this isn't even the road. This is just a hill. Where? Uh oh, that was. Maybe a mistake. I'm not going to be able to crest the hill. I mean, it's like I'm psychic. It's the you, those two rails once more are interfering. Please, as as I said before. If you've done this without much winching, please say something in the comments. I'm sure a lot of people will very much appreciate it. I don't actually know what the highest saddle, the highest point for a lost saddle is, which, like, you know, which truck that is. You don't want it too high or else the back of the trailer will be even lower. It's, it, you know, it'll be angled upwards. It's, it's going to catch when you come down the hill here. Like that, digging through the ground, plowing the ground, ready for the ready for the seeds to be planted. Ultimate we don't even get one of these. I mean not that it's not that it has much use. Wow! Um not much of my Azov is on the ground. Oh it's beached again. Maybe I should add a beach counter in all my map. This is quite a tight corner. Just cut myself off there. Oh, well, that didn't go last very long. Right, now I have to go forward a bit more. Like threading a needle. Ah! Well, that's a big hole. Oh, wonderful. All right, just so, yep. Sorry about the dead tree. Means to an end. Pulse, pulse the, uh, pulse the accelerator. I don't know. It tends to work for some reason. All right, go from the the middle. I can get more steering done. If the steering wheels actually contact the ground. Oh my god! Oh, I've got momentum. Come on. Momentum. Oh, there are no, there are no trees to bail me out here. Can this, can this digger help me? They're fairly immovable, so you would hope that they could. Is that also some package sound? No, we're so close. Oh, come on, you swine! Just let me get. Come on, come on, wheels. That's it. Do, do something. Oh, a, a small twig will save the day. Yeah, you see, you notice how the entire trailer has pivoted around? Aha! Uh -huh. Is this the hardest contract in the game? Or just the most laborious? Yeah, the, the most laborious, probably. It fills me with a sense of pride and accomplishment. No, it doesn't. Uh, come on. Oh. Swines. 
I mean, why is this trailer here? It's out of the way. Right, now I'm gonna have to brute force. It's, it's going to be brute force. I mean, it's been brute force all this way, but it's, that trailer's in the way. Oh, come on. There's no point getting out to pull. Nothing's going to happen. There we go. There we go. So now obviously mud, mud tires don't have the best traction on, uh, you know, paved paved roads. Oh my God, we're home free. I can even go high gear. I can even go. Fifth gear, auto five. Come on, come on, give it to me. There it is. I was so happy and jovial at the beginning of this track. So, yeah, it seems like an age ago. Right, get. Oh. Oh, I have to just dump it somewhere. Right. How can I put just leave it in the river? Uh, I'm going to try and put it on the grass verge. Sorry about your Westfield sign. It's going down. Alright, we'll, we'll leave that POS there. Point of service, obviously that's what that means. Uh, no, nothing, nothing else, nothing mean. We're here uh, in a dan with a plan. Because we need a generator. Uh, for the metal beams. So this is this is going to be our our generator hauler. I don't. I've got this weird service slash single slot cargo with grain thingy on it. Um, the entire unit is the entire unit is uh, pretty heavy. Is it? The whole thing's really heavy. We've got the Dan with this. I don't know repair fuel supply single slot bed. Brain McJibble. I'm not exactly sure what its specific use is. These days you don't often have to just recover one piece of cargo. It's normally three to five. Or it's something that's two slots. Um, the entire thing is very heavy. Plus, I've got this behind me. I think it has um, spare fuel. I certainly hope so. I'm gonna need it. Does it have fuel? Oh, turn the beacons on. Yeah. Refuel. Multi-purpose cargo module. Um, that's repair, you melon. Oh, it does have 250 liters. Though I might just steal what the boar has left when I get the some. You know, I'm 150 down. Ow! What the? Okay, I don't think I was going that quickly. Good thing I've got all these repair points on board. Yeah, I presume I'm just using this truck wrong whenever I use it, but I don't find it's that. Unless people are like going to Tamir to get it and then using it in Michigan and Alaska and be like, it's amazing in the two easiest regions in the game. I don't know, please give me your Dan experiences. I think it's pretty decent for, I think, medium logs, but I don't know, whenever, Whatever else I've used, it's been just turd. Used it in hard mode in a mandra, and I just got annoyed. It's getting me stuck all the time. Either on boulders or it couldn't drive through terrain. Oh my days! Oh, I already regret this. This is um, the episode of struggles. I'm gonna end up pulling myself over here. I'm in a ditch thing. Well, these wheel tracks are like three foot deep. I can't even get out of the ground. What am I... What's going on? Oh, there we go. Some mud is just unbreakable. Oh, it's not liking that. Oh, we've got to go so far with this thing. Right, I'm going to put the fuel in the... 
in the board and use that instead. Come on, you're supposed to be this big beefcake. You've got this weird design because you're actually like a ballistic missile carrier. I.e. it's supposed to be able to deal with huge weight. But you know, if, you, if you've used, uh, if you use this all the time in muddy situations, please put it on a postcard, send it to me. Somehow. Carrier pigeon. Ah, oh, there's a tree there. That's uh, that's really going to end well. Oh, it's gone. I, it's also it's so long and yet only like six wheel drive. So uh, I mean I know what some people say. You know, oh you're you know you're towing a trailer behind. You always say don't do that. Even on the way to get the generator, uh, it was getting stuck. It was getting stuck without any uh, any load on it, any load behind it. It's got load on it from this huge multi-purpose do dad. Right, we're gonna hitch up to the boar instead and then we're gonna see a difference. And by a difference I just mean a difference. Alright, we're hitched. Let's go. Right. Oh we'll drive on. High gear in. Let's see. no that's 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 a foolish idea. Here we go again with all the mud. I'll save you the pain. Okay I've done some moving around of some bits and pieces back and forward. The uh, the generator is now in the southern part of the map at the metal workshop and we're back in what is oh it's on the bonnet. Oh yes yeah, the step bike. Uh, we're gonna pick up the four cement the four cement and take them to the bridge. Um, I think what I should have done really is uh, put a crane on because I'm still going to need to move three metal beams. Obviously, this is a five-slot trailer. Not to six. I swear they do this on purpose. So yeah, we'll get this finished up, and then uh, have to do two quick runs for metal beams, which shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. It's kind of the easier side of the map to uh, to navigate. Just while we. Roll through here. And might have to get one of these modded trucks at some point that's got the shovel on the front to push all these rocks out of the way. Come on. There we go. Over we go. And uh, yeah, it's been interesting retracing the step using the bore, you know, towing the generator trailer. Retracing the steps where the Cat 770 trailer has gone because you can just see these huge scoring marks that are at square edge so you know what it's, what it's from and it's just yeah not unbelievable I mean there's one there you can see where it's dragged through the ground I mean it's been in contact with the ground the entire time it's being towed which is what makes it so darn difficult Plus, then that very sudden rise. It's uh, it really is a gameplay pain in the backside, and I don't feel a sense of achievement once I've got it there. More just relief. But uh, anyway, yeah, we've got our sort of mobile fuel stop that lives here now, heavily damaged from. It took me about two minutes to actually get it here from the garage uh, so I needed it quite urgently so I drove it very quickly and crashed it a lot but yeah trudging through the mud it won't take as long to get to the bridge because the cargo we've got here and the trailer much lighter much better suited to uh, to the environment we're driving through right come on No, oh, I thought we were just gonna about. Yeah, we go. We're about to get it. Whoa! Oh, I didn't. I did. What's annoying is I did actually nip back to the garage. Um, I didn't install the snorkels. I don't. I don't really see the point. I'm not. I'm not doing any, any river crossings really. Um, but I should have put a crane on there for uh, optimum speed. So I think the most prolific score mark is uh, is coming up here. Where, yeah, so it's just 
now parallel with the truck. And you can see the steps and the gouges it's taking out of the mud. Just stopping me getting up the hill. It's horrendous stuff. And then look at that. Boom. Straight through. Not an issue. Straight through. Right. Let's get these dropped off and then we'll get on for the metal beams. One, two, three, four. Okay, so into the storehouse, uh, we want to craft uh, three metal beams. Ooh, so they were a hundred pair, so... Ooh, costly, costly. And load two in. Uh, like I say, you know, we're only going here. It's mostly a road to get back to there, so it's not too... It's not too shabby. We'll have a look at the route going down there. Well, it's just like the very beginning of the video, actually. Because <laughs> that's exactly what we did for uh, clearing the Roblox. So we're getting a lot of use out of um, out the little crocodile. It is crocodile, right? Nope, it's the pike. Crocodile's the other one. They're, they're very similar. So somebody tells me, no, they're not. But this is, yeah, a nice, simple, uh, simple little route. Where, whoa. Just cutting the corner just enough there. I've been through there a couple of times this evening now, so. The more you go through there, the more you wear through the ground conditions, and it does get progressively harder to go through those areas. I'm just going super gently, letting the truck really just roll around the corner. Uh, fuel, we've got fuel on the roof, so that shouldn't be an issue either. I think I was having to actually, oh no, I didn't have to crawl through here. Whoop. I should maybe take it easy on the speed front now. Ruining the suspension. But no, this has been a good pick for this map so far. Solid mud runner. So now it's just a straightforward uh, venture to the bridge. All right, delivery time. Oh, who's parked that lovely orange truck there? That's maybe not the best place to park. Well, that's two of them. And we're gonna have to do some uh, creative maneuvers here. All right, let's back this up. And then now, we'll hit that around there, there we go, perfect. Just before the trailer gets to that point of wanting to flip over. Alright, with the third and final piece, we are ready to deliver and get this bridge up and off running. With a little cutscene. Oh, look at that. And now we can drive across the bridge. And that is where, exhaustively, we are going to end for today. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please do join me next time where we will look at this gateway thing. And maybe this gateway thing. And maybe even the femme just to do something a bit different. So yes, thank you very much and goodbye.